Alrighty. Physics Kush. I like it. Physics Kush. Kyro Khan. Advanced. Tactical Knight C3. The Tactical Knight C3. Yeah, Lager, you could have taken that thing back. Do we go here immediately when he makes that move? We do, don't we? I believe that, that's an error, is it not? Because you want to go here, actually? Uh, I guess he just wants to... I know what he wants to do. So I go back and then he wants to win that pawn, but... He can't actually win that pawn, right? It's like... It's... It's pseudo one. Right? So if I take here, let's, let's do this. I don't think it's actually one. Because these are, these are going to be loose. These are going to be loose. We're fine here, don't worry. We're fine here. This is just a complicated position, but... It was short itself out. I'm down upon for now. I'm only down a pound for now. But actually this 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 actually gives me so much counterplay. I'll show you why. So you're going to notice that these pawns are going to be very hard to defend in a bit once I get this knight activated. And things are going to open up. And they're going to open up big. I like this. The Karakhan is so fun. The Karakhan is so fun. Ideally, uh, ah, okay. I'm threatening this. I'm threatening that 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 sequence of moves. If you guys can see that. And if that happens, the center is destroyed. It's not worth threatening this now because it's more important that I. I think it's more important that I do this and just like get ready to castle. This is more important. The threat on the threat on E uh the threat on E five is more important. And this threat on E five is what I'm playing around right now. So like the last two moves both threaten this move. And he has to defend out here. So that I'm creating I'm I'm taking the initiative, right? Because oh he he went there. So this is actually not even that strong for him. So basically what he's arguing is that if I take the pawn now... Wait, I just take the pawn now then, right? He's not arguing anything. So I just win that pawn, and this is huge for me. Let me explain why. So I have this discovery attack. And I'm gonna take this right here and get open my open queen, and then I'm gonna develop this knight. Sorry, I'm gonna develop this, and now all of a sudden he's opened up my position. Now my rook has free reign here, buddy. You're gonna have trouble defending these pawns because now my queen's attacking this twice. Are you seeing the lines that I'm seeing, guys? When this is all said and done, the knight goes here. 
Now he doesn't have center pawns. The rook has an open file. The queen's in the center. All of a sudden, this position is winky wonky. Why not knight f3? We could do knight f3. We could. This right here is so that I could uh, threaten um, this pawn as well with this rook. Or come over here as well to help guard the queen. But um, And this is not a bad square either because this is going to immediately target that. And it's going to force him to do this. So then this is the threat that now. Now this is the weak pawn. And we're going to take that weak pawn by ideally wanting the knight to attack that pawn. Because this is also a weak pawn. It's also, this is the natural position, naturally. The reason why you don't go here, because you having this F-pawn to push is actually quite useful. Wait, why did, why did he... Oh, why knight... Why 93? What do you mean? 93? Instead of knight F3? Oh, you're talking about him doing white and white nice three. Are you saying the squares right? Hey, look, look, he's spending a lot of time on this move, guys. This is a sharp position. This is a sharp position. I still have my tactic. I still have my tactic. I can still sacrifice to get my to get his bishop. Oh, you're talking about me? This knight going here? Okay. The reason why I can't go knight f3 because the queen takes, and then the queen now guarding this by going here. This is now undefended. So the reason why I can't go here is because this would have been defended, and it, it would have taken them for free. And you guarded this. It's important to go here so that I take this. Now this is always a threat. And this is about to be a threat. And then I can trade this. Now this becomes a threat. Position is just doing really well now. Yes, yeah, so the reason why I don't go here is because the queen takes defense as a bishop. That's the only reason. I would just blunder a piece. The whole point was that I want to get the knight out of the way so that I can just get, win his bishop. Because his bishop is kind of strong. His bishop is kind of strong in this diagonal. So I traded my knight for that. And I feel like now I had the bishop pair. Bishop pair, look at this, wide open. Bishop pair. Pawns are weak. No center. Who won this opening? Who's winning? Black winning. Karo Khan, baby. Karo Khan, baby. Black's winning here. I mean, there's some counterplay, but... He's not really doing anything. Yeah, I'll play you after, Maroc. Of course, he has his move. I could um I could take the bishop and throw in his queen. The problem doing that is that by the end of this line, his he he's up at night, no? No, he's not. If I take this bishop, now I can move this over here. Or even not over there, but Uh, th this is a sharp position. Give me a second. <laughs> I 
I could retreat. I could retreat my queen, or I can go for the queen trade. I could retreat my queen or go for the queen trade. This gets pieces off the board and, and, and makes his position weaker. I can keep the queens on the board and try to and try to punish him a little bit more. If I get the queens off the board, I think I can win this easily. Let's go here. Keep the queens on the board. Now, I wouldn't lose the queen trade, so what I would do is I would go here, he takes this, and I take that, and then he takes that. So he's down a bishop and a queen, I'm down a bishop and a queen. So we just trade cleanly. So I got this off the board, I got this off the board, and then his knights are now here. And so I still have bishop and a knight, but then his position is harder to defend. If I want to keep the queens on the board, I can make some more counterplay. You lost the castle, huh? I could have avoided this. I can go for a rook lift. How does he defend a rook lift? This was a tactical mainline Carol Khan. I like this push. I like this push a lot. I like this push a lot. Okay. So now that just hangs that. I do the push anyways. And if he takes, if he takes. Now I have this to come into play. And this is also a threat. But then this becomes wide open. That opens up my queen big time. That's bad. That's kind of bad. Yeah, he has e3 with queen. That's bad. It's pretty bad for me. Go here. Let's go here. Threat I'm threatening a fork right now. So my control of the F4 square is really important because now I'm threatening a fork. 
I'm also threatening this pawn. So I'm threatening a pawn and a fork. This is I'm making a lot of threats. This pawn is under threat. I can th check here to win this pawn, this, or I can threaten a fork and threaten a win of a pawn. There's a lot of things going on in this position. And a wrong move can really open it up. So I'm down a pawn, but I have compensation. F4 control is really important. He noticed the F4 uh, control is really important. So what happens is I could just take here now. Win the, I can win the pawn back. And if he takes, now I take with tempo. So I might as well just do that now. Now he's, he's counter threatening this. So if I take here, now he's going to counter threat this. So what I could do is take this pawn and pin his queen. Pin his... Pin his uh, I can pin his, uh, his rook to his... I'll do this. I'll pin. So now I'm threatening this again, still stronger. And his rook can't really move. But it's like, it's also, he could use the rook and attack me at the same time. Because the queen is defended, but... This just wins the pawn back, and now I'm threatening to win a pawn again. So I'm not only threatening to win a... Get the pawn back, which I just did, but I'm, you know, I'm trying to get this whole damn kingside. I think I have decent pressure here. So he wants to just take that. And I guess it just evens up the position. It just evens up the position, I guess. Okay, so we're just kind of in an even position. He just threw. He just, he just he just blundered. I don't know why, but he blundered. Now he's just lost. He just flat out blundered. Um, I could lose this pawn, or I could defend it with this knight. I'll just lose the pawn. Let's set go. Yeah, we did.
My bad. <laughs> GG. Alright, one sec, that was my bad. <laughs> Whoops. Anyways, we're back at 20, we're back at 2000. I was trying to do a ladder, but I, I should have done a better checkmate. Uh, either, either way, we won that, but... That was a sharp position, and I that's a lovely game. It's a very instructional game. Um, I was going to win regardless, I just... I just need to go here, and it's just game over, but... We're back at 2000. That was a lovely game.